How does chocolate chip pancakes suit you? Are you giving me these because you and Mom are breaking up? She talked to me as soon as I woke up. She didn't even let me brush my teeth. Your mom and I agreed that we should talk to you separately. Uh, that way, you can ask each of us questions. Without worrying that the other one will feel weird. Yeah, she told me that too. What else did she tell you? That she needs time to go away and think. Okay. Any questions? Yeah. What does she need to think about? What did your mom say when you asked her? That she needed to work things out and it would be better for everyone else if she did that somewhere else. I thought families were supposed to work things out together. Did you say that to her? No. I tried to guilt trip her. So I asked if she stopped loving us. Shane! What? She does it to me. Look, I do not want you getting mad or upset with your mom about any of this. Taking this time off was not just her idea. She and I both agreed that it was the best thing. So, you're giving mom space? Sometimes when you love somebody, you have to give them time to figure things out for themselves. But what if she takes all this time and figures out that she doesn't want to be with you anymore? Is mom gonna end up with Skylar? Is that ham? Do you know that ham contains listeria monocytogenes? I ordered it. What is it? What is it? It's like black coffee? Why don't you just suck up a whole bowl of nicotine? Do you even care about this baby? Why should you? It's not your baby, remember? We had a deal. You shouldn't care so much. What? Yeah, well, unfortunately, I do care. Why would you ask about Skylar and drink your milk? Because you always get weird when Skylar's around. Or when someone talks about him, especially Mom. I don't get weird. Dad, you're getting weird right now. What's the point in letting me ask questions if you're not going to answer them? You're right, I'm sorry. So tell me, is Mom moving out because of Skylar or not? You know, this may seem alien to you, but I do actually care about my offspring. As much as you care about Gigi? Because if she finds out this is your baby and you've been lying to her all along, she's definitely not going to talk to you again. Yeah, well, you made that clear. So, I guess it's for the best. No. No, you love Gigi. Yeah, I love Gigi. You know what else I loved? Coke, meth, and pills. You know what I did to get them? I lied to everyone, and I made unholy packs with unscrupulous people. Hey, it's deja vu. Wait, so you're addicted to Gigi? She's all I think about. When she's around, it's euphoric. When she's not, it physically hurts. I and mean, you do the math. So call her. It's not like you're shooting up. No, it's exactly like shooting up, Stacy. I mean, I, t I tell myself I can't, but I want to anyway. I remind myself that it's dangerous, and then I convince myself that I I'm going to anyway. And it goes again and again like that. I mean, it's, it's classic addiction and withdrawal. Okay, first of all, it is impossible for you to be addicted to someone, okay? Second of all, it, it's not addiction, it's love, and it's wonderful and beautiful. And deceitful. Okay, you know what? That's it. I'm not gonna sit here waiting for you to decide whether you're gonna shoot your mouth off or not. It's stressful for the baby and it's not good. Since you're just so hell-bent to ruin everything, might as well do it now. What are, what are you doing? I'm making it easier on you. I'm calling Gigi and I'm telling her you're my baby daddy. Ringing. <laughs> well, it's not. Yeah, I didn't call. But now we know no matter how you feel, you're still not going to do a damn thing about it. But it's okay. I mean, in the end, you're going to have Gigi. No, I'm not. And you're not going to have Rex. We can fantasize all we want, Stacy, but those two are staying together. What your mom and I are doing is only about her and me. Okay? But I need you to understand that this will not in any way change the way either one of us feel about you. Yeah, Mom told me that you both love me, she'll see me all the time, blah, blah, blah. Can I ask one last question? Shoot. 
How long are you giving the separation? It's not a bit. What, Skylar? You're right. I do need to start taking better care of myself. <laughs> Just take care of the baby. Whose baby? Huh? Rex's. Good boy. So good. I mean, come on. Would you rather a baby with me or a future with Gigi? It's up to you. Yeah, well, all I have to do is sacrifice my integrity, which happens to be in short supply these days. Well, look on the bright side. At least Gigi likes you. At least you didn't have to get knocked up and then try and prove that you're not the devil. Anyone suffering here, it's... it's you. Yeah, like always. Exactly. All we need is a window of opportunity, and as soon as that window opens up, even if it's just a little crack, you can just slide in there and Gigi will be waiting. I don't know how long your mom's going to be away. Not too long, I hope. Well, Christmas is next week. What are we going to do about it? We're going to make sure Santa gets your Christmas list. Or at least that your mom and I get it. And I'm going to talk to you a million times before then. You can call me, too. I'm also going to visit. Actually, you're going to be really sick of me. Well, don't be gone too long. Dad makes lousy pancakes. <laughs> See you guys later. Be sure we're doing the right thing. Are we doing the right thing? Can you say you're over your feelings for Skylar? Well, then, right or wrong, this is what we have to do. I'll go get my bag. Not a good time. It won't take long. I just came back from the obstetrician. Vicky's letting me stay at her cabin while we try and work things out. What are you doing here? Oh, it's just about the baby. Of course it is. How about I walk you out? Teach. While you're away searching your soul, I just, I want you to understand one thing. I love you, Marasco. I love you too, Blossom. But if we can find our way back to each other after 10 years, then this is... This will be a walk in the park, right? You bet. I just don't want to pretend with me. I know what I just walked in on. A private moment that's none of your business? Rex, JC just moved out. Okay, I'm sorry. Look, I know you've been having a rough time. I heard your father came to this surgery, and I'm sure you have all kinds of feelings about that. And then now this with Gigi. And we're done. Thanks for stopping by. No, no, no. No, look, I know you have no reason to trust me, but if you could just find it somewhere in your heart to forgive me for all the crazy things I've done to you, because... I know we could be friends. You and me. Good friends, too. And to prove that, I'm going to leave you alone right now. That's exactly what you need. Gigi just moved out. Now it's time. 